Hello, in this video we're going to show that the cosine of x minus pi is equal to minus cosine x. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. Let's start by writing down the formula that we're going to use to do this problem. It's the cosine of a minus b, and we're using this one because we have a minus, and this is equal to the cosine of a, times the cosine of b. And there's a trick, because we have a minus, we can switch the sign, so we'll put a plus here. So plus sine of a, sine of b. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and write down the left-hand side of what we're trying to show. We have the cosine of x minus pi. We can identify a with x and b with pi. So it's cosine of a, so it's cosine of x, and cosine of b, so that will be cosine of pi. And then plus, and then we have sine of x, and then sine of b, which is pi, sine of pi. And now we should think about what is the value of the cosine of pi, and what is the value of the sine of pi? To do that, we can think about the unit circle. So the unit circle is a circle whose center is at the origin, and it has a radius of 1. It has the magical property that every point on the unit circle has the form cosine theta comma sine theta. So we're looking at pi, which is the angle over here. So the point on the unit circle that corresponds to the angle pi is right here in blue. And this ordered pair would be negative one comma zero, right? Because we're going left one and up zero. It's a circle of radius one. Now we can continue. This is equal to the cosine of x. Let me clean that up a little bit. There we go, cosine of x times, and then cosine of pi, well, cosine of pi is the x-coordinate at pi. That's just negative 1. Plus sine of x times, and then sine of pi, well, that's the y-coordinate at pi. That's going to be 0. This is equal to, well, negative 1 times cosine is just negative cosine x. And 0 times sine is just 0. This is equal to negative cosine x. Beautiful. I like to finish my little proofs with a little box like this, and I put an x through them. And that's it. Hopefully this video has taught you some mathematics. If it has, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck and take care.